what is up y'all it has been a long minute since i did a vlog <sighs> y'all don't even know what i've been through ever since i had um the procedure i've been talking to y'all over and over about on may 13th um i've pretty much been in and out of the hospital basically for i wouldn't say complications but <laughs> your girl didn't know what to expect really with this procedure <laughs> and I'm getting the full ride of it, the full effect. So um, I've been having a lot of pain. Um, I've had to go to the ER twice and I'm just trying to get myself back together. And even now I'm in pain. I'm cramping, but I'm like, I got to ride for my subscribers and I got to come on here and update y'all. But I almost want to cry because it has truly been an adventure. Um, I don't wish fibroids on nobody. I know a lot of women get um, hysterectomies, but I decided to get a UFE and not trying to down the procedure but you really go through a lot of pain while your body is like your body's trying to get rid of those fibroids so you go through a lot of pain so i've been taking motrin i haven't been taking um i haven't been taking the narcotics that they gave me because i have on and off but i don't want to get like addicted to that crap or whatever so I'm just trying to stay in there. But, you know, when your health is bad, it just it depresses you because you don't feel like yourself. For me, you know, I have my ups and downs. I wake up and I'm feeling good. And then the next day I'm not. And like before this procedure, like I would get up and feel dizzy and like feel like I need to pass out. Just always cold, like all the symptoms of being anemic. But. I just ignored it and when I went to the ER, they're like, your hemoglobin, which is what pumps oxygen to your heart, they're like, your hemoglobin is like super low. You need to start taking iron. So they ordered me some, um, oh, I was about to go low. They ordered me some uh, iron pills, but those make me vomit. Like I took them as prescribed and I was literally vomiting my guts out so now i have to go back to my doctor and try to get something that's softer on the stomach so i'm just all over the place i don't know if i mentioned to y'all like my ears are ringing and pounding and like all that is actually connected to my hemoglobin level levels being low so all i can tell y'all ladies like Make sure you get physicals. If your body's not acting right, make sure you go to the doctor, get your tests and everything because that's what I did. And that's how I found that I had fibroids from all the excessive bleeding. And, you know, I'm thankful for this procedure, but baby, this pain is no joke. One day I'll be good and the next it's like, ugh. But anyway, I don't want to harp on that. I'm back, y'all. If you're new here, I'm sorry you had to see me in this state, but I mean, it is what it is. Like, everybody has health issues. Pray to God that none of them are serious, but when you go through them, it really makes you like, okay, let me take my vitamins. Let me eat better. So, like, and another good thing is I lost 14 pounds, and I think more than that because I barely eat. So that's a good thing. Anyway, with that being said, y'all just saw I wash dishes. Um, I know I'm not supposed to be doing a lot, but I feel like me sitting there makes the pain worse. So I wash dishes. I'm about to make that nature cereal. Um, if you see my vlog, I was on the fence about it, but I think I actually like it. So I bought, so I didn't get the pomegranates because I don't care for the pomegranates. So I got blueberries and watermelon so i'm about to make that because i haven't ate all day in this 1 30 y'all so i got my blueberries and strawberries sitting in this water i'm gonna let them sit for like 10 minutes and then make my cereal but yes y'all 
it has been an adventure an adventure as y'all can see in this kitchen let me cut these lights off um it's orangey i have these orangey lights up here and on camera they drive me up the wall so what i'm about to do is get up here and change these lights um i found some on amazon of course and they are by j and case and they're 85 watts um they're 850 lumens brightness which i guess means these are like bright 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 and they're daylights because and they're daylight white and they're dimmable i got two packs of these because there's seven lights in the kitchen and then of course if i'm going to change them in the kitchen i'm going to have to change them in our living room um but yeah i'm just going to change them in the kitchen for now because i find myself filming a lot in the kitchen and it's just irritating like watching the video back and it's just everything is just orange like i know my kitchen walls are orange but it's just too much warmth going on so hopefully these are not like extremely bright because there are no dimmers in the kitchen so we about to see y'all but hopefully it makes it, my filming look better um when i'm in the kitchen because right now no child yeah Dipping out on me, already Got what you need, I got quickly Learn to sell through me, already Gave me what you need, I got I got yeah That's why I'm not with nobody Cause I don't wanna hurt nobody Did it over text it and call me Still got love for your mommy So, these are the lights So y'all can see daylight and yeah it just is giving a perfect balance it was too moody in here like i'm learning about lighting in your house and you only use warm lights in places where you want to relax at so like the bathroom or if you have like a movie room or something like that but in your kitchen and places where you want to be alert it's recommended and pretty much a design 101 that you use daylight so your girl is learning your girl is learning okay y'all let me turn this down we ain't getting no oh this looks so much better i had to take that sweater off because i'm hot but this is the cereal nature cereal i think i said um nature salad earlier but anyway so i have a cup of ice and then um, when we went to the grocery store the other day, I got some Vita Coca um, coconut water, but it's pressed. So I don't know what the difference is between regular coconut water and pressed, but we're going to pour this off up in there. And it's darker than regular. Um, this almost looked like real cereal. It looked like milk. You know, I'm all about the looks of stuff, so I don't know. You want to try it? No, I don't like coconut water. You don't like what? Coconut water. Why not? Oh, it's nasty. It's nasty? Just eat it. You didn't make it correctly. Why not? No pomegranates. I don't like pomegranates. I mean, I like them, but there's a seed in the middle, and I don't feel right swallowing that seed. Okay, let's see, y'all. Do we have a, like, seedless? Huh? You didn't even eat the whole thing. Why not? Oh, y'all, I didn't even tell you. So, after my camera broke, so we rushed to this camera place, and the guy was like, oh, yeah, we see this all the time. We'll go ahead and fix it. He said um, I, I, he wasn't sure on how much it was going to cost, but he was like, yeah, this is a really good camera. You don't want to um, have to lose on this. So he's like, we'll just send it to Sony. And yeah, they send it directly to Sony and we'll give you a quote. So 
it literally took about a month as y'all could see um but they came back and it was only $345 to get it fixed. Thank God, I thought it would be a whole bunch more than that, but it wasn't. So I'm very appreciative for that. But I'll tell y'all what, I will never ever be carrying groceries, carrying bags and have my camera in my hand because I'm like, uh-uh. And I was so tempted to buy another camera because I'm like, ugh, my content, like as y'all can see, I started putting out sit down videos and other type of videos using my um, other camera, which that's not going to stop. Um, but I will say to y'all, I feel like it was a, there was a reason for me to break my camera because in between that time, I really sat down and thought about what I want to do with my channel. I really sat down and really thought about the fact that I felt like I was trying to make my channel similar to other girls' channels that I watch. And I'm like, pieces of these people are similar to me, but they're not like me. And I want to, not saying I'm better, but I want to give y'all the real me. Like, I want y'all to see me for me, not doing stuff because, oh, this girl got all these subscribers and likes doing this. But if, I'm, if that's not what I'm feeling, then I'm not going to do it. So there's a lot of YouTubers that I do like. I do. Um, Y'all, I got to get used to the fact that this coconut water is uh, milky looking. I know that's how it's supposed to look, but mo most brands, it's like clear. But anyway, um. You know, so I really took this time to reevaluate and get real with myself and really figure out what I want to do with my channel and just being true to who I am. So anyway, um, that was definitely needed time, especially after having this procedure. But so, yeah, they just called me. I literally got my camera back like maybe two or three days ago. What else has been going on since I haven't been on here? Um, still working from home. Um, Anaya tried out for like an elite soccer team. She made it. So I'm a soccer mom. Well, this is not our first season or her first season playing soccer. So um, try not try out. She already tried out. Um, Practice starts next month. She's supposed to go to Vegas to stay with my grandmother, so I don't know how we're going to work that out. Um, practice starts next month. The season starts in August, so there's going to be a whole bunch of soccer stuff going on on the weekend in my life. So y'all will see bits and pieces of that on camera. Um, and because she's on this elite team, she'll probably be playing a lot. Like, we'll probably be, that's going to be our weekends August 1st is like traveling Southern California for her to um, compete against different soccer team. Um, yeah, soccer teams. So that is pretty much a sacrifice I'm making. Um, I, I actually don't really have plans this summer. Um, I've been seeing the airports, especially where I lived, LAX, and it looks like hell. Um, the only thing I have planned is I have a couple friends coming out here. They're going to come out here, fly, um, fly out here, and then we're going to take a road trip to Vegas. The hotel suite's already booked. That's for Labor Day. But besides that, I'm just chilling, y'all. Like, I'm really trying to focus on my health getting back working out like and i'm just super damn excited that i was able to lose 14 pounds y'all i hate when i see little stuff floating but i know that's the little things from the strawberries i'm so finicky tonight is versus e verse um hold on y'all i just took me some motrin 800 um Tonight is Eve versus um, Trina. Trina is my girl. Me and my cousin used to sneak 
and listen to Trina. We knew every word to every song. I don't see how what made them pair Trina and Eve. Um, I don't see the any similarities in their music at all. Um, I loved Eve when she was a part of Rough Riders, but Trina's my girl. Um, but again, like they say, it's just a celebration of them both. So that's coming on in a few hours. So I'll definitely be watching that. But let me know what y'all think. Like, I think if they had to pair Trina with somebody, who would it be? I was about to say Soleil, but then I'm like, nah, because Soleil didn't have that many hits, you know. I don't care if it's four, five, six, seven, eight in the morning. That's like the only one I really know from her. I'm trying to think who was hot at the same time Trina was. That's how they should have thought about it. But I'm like, I honestly think Trina, Little Kim was doing her thing. But again, they're too similar. They're not, they're different. Their music is different. Let me know in the comments if I'm not like remembering anybody. But I think when Trina was hot, it was really only Trina besides Kim. I don't have much plan today. I am going to cook, so of course I'll um, turn the camera back on when I get to doing that. Like, I've just been in this, like, if y'all know from my other vlogs, um, we eat out a lot. We take, we buy a lot of takeout food, and I've just been in this zone where I want to cook. I want to get back to cooking different types of cuisines, different Tonight, I'm going to make shrimp fried rice with like a, it's called a fennadini sauce. And um, that's a, that's a sauce that was originated in Guam. I used to, I've lived in Guam twice and it is so good y'all. So you can literally eat it on anything. You can, <clears throat> you can eat it on eggs, meat, like it is the best sauce in the world. So I'm going to make that. And it gets better day by day. It's one of those sauces you leave in the refrigerator and you can like use it months later. So I'm going to make some finadini sauce. And then um, I'll show y'all. But finadini sauce is the main and the and the shrimp fried rice is the main dish. And then um, something else. But I'll show y'all when I get back on camera. But I'm just like in this zone of wanting to eat healthier but make it exciting and not uh, like I'm kind of done with the American cuisine right now um I swear I was Japanese in my last life because I love everything about Japanese the culture the way they dress cook everything anyway, so, so um like I said I'm making shrimp fried rice and I wanted to show y'all when you make shrimp fried rice and I did this before you never want to use hot rice so you want to cook your rice days. Be, um, you can even use like days old rice. Um, you want to use days old rice or rice that's like not hot at all. Otherwise your fried rice will turn out gummy. Yeah. So um, I'm cooking my rice now. It's 312. So I'll probably start making the um, fried rice at about 5. And... Um, I'm just using some jasmine rice. So this is some jasmine rice that I picked up at Stater Brothers probably because that's pretty much our main store. And I'm about to start making the finadini sauce like I was telling y'all about. So I'm going to put my camera up and let y'all just see the ingredients that I'm using. I'm going to cut up my green onion first. And that's it y'all. So... This is the sauce. I swear, this, this is a little bit. We're gonna kill this tonight. But this is the sauce. And that's it. Just um, a little bit of jalapeno pepper I chopped up, green onion, lemon juice, and um, soy sauce. And of course, if you're sensitive to salty, like you don't want all that sodium from the soy sauce, use less sodium, no sodium. Whatever floats your boat. Um, let's try. That's finadini sauce, y'all. 
<laughs> I'm about to cry. I wanted to show y'all this triple action fruit and veggie wash. I had a horror story, y'all. So um, what I didn't know is that this may sound so stupid. I didn't know the difference really between organic and non-organic produce. I just knew that um, the only thing I knew was that organic just seemed cleaner for some reason. So I had some kind of vegetable I was watching and a big ass juicy fly was in the produce and I was just disgusted. So needless to say, I researched like, is that good if okay if you see bugs in your produce and come to find out a lot of bugs migrate to organic produce because they don't put pesticides on it so I didn't even know that pesticides were to keep the bugs from getting into it so I'm like F that I don't need organic <laughs> I was disgusted by that so needless to say when I buy like bunches of stuff like lettuce green onion I'm not gonna um, get it organic because that was disgusting to me. But anyway, when I was at the grocery store, I found this triple action fruit and veggie wash. This is, let me back up. This is 100% natural. It's all natural ingredients and it says that it removes pesticides, wax, bacteria, and residue, and it helps your produce to last five times longer. So it says that it, it, it um, stops your apples and potatoes from browning and I think they cap in here it enhances appearance and flavor of fruit and vegetables <laughs> so um yeah just if you guys I got this from my local store Ralph's local grocery store so I thought that was cool so I will be using this because that's actually not the first time that I found some big old bugs you need sauce with that. You don't just eat it like that. That was my first time, not my first time seeing bugs in my produce and that shit is nasty to me. I am, I cleaned some lettuce. So the lettuce is gonna go in the paper rolls. We got some Smell cucumber. It. I chopped up some onion going into fried rice. So we getting there and then as y'all can see, I'm waiting for Trina and Eve to come out. So that's, um. That's on the TV. So yeah, I just wanted to show y'all my progress. What you think of the paper roll? Does it taste weird or it tastes like nothing? Like nothing. Yeah, because you need this sauce. Is just used for like to keep it all together. Yeah, you need like a sauce though. I end tonight's part of this vlog um, I just ended up making some sausage and this is a beef sausage that they sell at um, Costco I would show y'all what kind it is but I don't this is dark I would show y'all what kind it is but I don't have the wrapper but I just made some sausage to go with the fried rice yeah, so here's the sausage, here's the fried rice. I just cut up some lettuce, and I'm probably gonna take some of the lettuce and dip it in my fennadini sauce. Then I have some English um, cucumber down here that I'll also put in the sauce. So yes, y'all, 
that's dinner for tonight. I was going to do the spring rolls, but I'm not even in the mood. Let me get away from this. I'm not even in the mood. I'm getting tired. So I'm just going to eat, watch TV. Um, if you guys are into, I'm not even into football, but there's a series called Last Chance You on Netflix that is popular. And um, Anaya basically binge watched the whole thing. And now I found another one on Apple TV. I'm not sure what app. It's like what TV network it is, but it's another um, football team. But I'm really into that. I like to see the come up of these athletes that go from college um, that may have not may have got kicked out of a D1 school. And then they go to these um, community colleges to try to get back um, on a D1 team with the full scholarship. So I like seeing when our black people are trying to better themselves, you know, and get themselves out of a situation. But anyway, I digress. I'm going to eat y'all and I will see y'all tomorrow. What's up, y'all? It is the next day and I'm not doing much. I'm just doing some cleaning around the kitchen. Um, <laughs> one of my favorite YouTubers, her name is Kim Tai. She has really got me inspired. She just moved into a new house and her kitchen is like impeccable. Um, and I'm just looking around my kitchen like, uh, I need to, oh shit, did I scratch something? I need to organize better in here. Like I feel like everything is cluttered. And please let me know if any of y'all still use a dish rack like when I see other people's kitchens, I see no one with a dish rack. So are y'all really like cleaning and drying y'all dishes at the same time? Like I've been really trying to live with the fact that if I get rid of this ugly dish rack, I'm going to have to wash and dry. So I don't know about all that. Well, I'm just using a razor blade to scrape up all the little grease splatters that's on the inside of the stove. So I'm pretty much done with that. So I'm going to, let me flip this. I'm going to clean this off and then I'm not putting the dishes away. That's a nice job, but I do want to work on today, like organizing this counter. Like I have so much stuff as y'all can see. Of course I can't do nothing about my computer cause I work on the kitchen island. But as far as all this stuff here that's constantly here. I'm even thinking about moving this coffee machine. I'm gonna try to clear off this counter. Um, and yeah, try to organize and then I'll probably end up, cause I wanna like put maybe like a vase with some flowers or something in the middle just for decor, but nothing should be on your kitchen island. Like when we were going house hunting for some time, no one had um, stuff on the counter except for decor. There should be, you know, your counter is not meant for storage. So I'm really going to organize and try to figure out ways to move stuff um, where it belongs. So, yep, that's what I'm pretty much doing today. it is like refreshing like you don't it's the little things in your kitchen that you have to pay attention to like look how much shinier and clean like y'all y'all didn't see the before but oh this is so much better new again like there was so much gunk and grime and all I did, let me tell y'all, this is my trick to cleaning. Anything I can't scrub with soap and water, easy off. Easy off will get rid of everything easily. Just make sure you get it all off of your stuff. But so now I'm just going to use my favorite thing, which is the stainless steel wipes. You can get these at Home Depot, Bed Bath & Beyond, and I'm just gonna go over it so that it's shiny. A 
and I use this everywhere on the refrigerator, on the stove. And it's gonna come off like what uh, it's gonna look white, but it dries clear. So don't worry about that. I just make sure I wipe all the stainless steel. But you you gotta take care of your kitchen. You know, especially when you got high quality appliances, because, yeah, you want it to look good. Woo, I don't know what has got me. Well, I know what's got me in the cleaning mode, like I told y'all, Kim Ty. But um, I even cleaned this, like, because you know. There was fingerprints all over the numbers and stuff, so I cleaned this off. Um, I just used some glass cleaner to get the fingerprints off. So yes, girl, I'm gonna like wipe down all the cabinets. Cause especially since I changed the lighting in here, you can see like areas in the kitchen where it's like, okay, uh -uh. this need to get clean. So. I'm gonna get a tray, something to put these oil things in too. Don't know from where. It's a good idea to be organized because you buy stuff and then forget it's even in your kitchen. I'm gonna wipe down the counter. There. Good grief. I'm out of my favorite um, counter cleaner. God dang it. Um, what else do I have? I do have this granite and marble um, cleaner and polish. So, oh well. We'll just be using this. even stuff up here I'm telling you I'm going to let that sit franchise Okay, y'all, so I'm still in this kitchen two, three hours later. I ended up putting the coffee machine back where it was, but I centered it. 
So now what I think I'm going to do, but I don't know if this is going to bother me over time, but I'm thinking of putting, don't mind all this cleaning stuff, but putting like a little tray here with like the stuff for t that you use to make coffee. So like some sugar cubes, um, which I'll need a little container for, um, your syrups, everything besides the milk and place it here on this, probably this side. We'll see. Anyway, um, I basically been trying to clean this stove. I didn't even realize how dirty this stove was. So I've been like, I replaced the filters. I'm cleaning. I'm still cleaning up under around the range. It's a lot. So I did that. Um, what else have I been doing? I literally just been cleaning this stove. It's crazy how dirty it was. So um, I'm about to go to Target because I have a curbside pickup. So yeah, get out this house, get some fresh air. I'm going back and forth about getting Starbucks because I just got a new creamer yesterday at the store. So I'm like, really, you're going to go to Starbucks? But I don't have, well, I just ordered the coffee that I need from Star, from Starbucks, from Target. But I feel like I still want Starbucks because it's been like a week if not longer so yeah um i'm gonna probably put on a different top um i've already changed my pants and let's go to target because mm. they upload their hairdos online probably on instagram and all that y'all i'm talking to my mom i just left stater brothers i had to go and get a cooked chicken because i'm gonna make some chicken salad um, for dinner tonight, like I told y'all in the previous clip, I'm trying to eat healthier, get my health back in order. So it's chicken salad tonight. What you eating, Mom? Popeyes. I'm going to eat chicken salad and I'm going to eat some fries. So I just got back from uh, Stater Brothers and um, I had to get some more easy off because I've been using that like crazy today. And then Anaya got some caramel corn. This is pretty good popcorn. And then I got some celery and some green onion because I am making chicken salad. And then um, I think everybody's grocery store sells this but I got um, I got a rotisserie chicken um and then I got scotch bride stay clean scrubbers because I don't have all I have is those little smiley faces to clean with and yeah so anyway um I got some of these Izzy sparkling juices these are really 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 good um and I got it in apple and then um, I got this for the kitchen counter. I don't know exactly, or the kitchen. I don't know where I'm going to place this little thing, but it was $9.99. And I literally cleared off this kitchen. I'm not going to show y'all. I'll probably do a B-roll and show you. But um, I cleared off the counter. If you hear those popping things, that's a knife. Popping those little things you hit on the ground. But um, yeah, so... I'm going to put it somewhere. I just don't know where yet, but it kind of looks cheapy, so it'll probably go in the bathroom. Um, and where this is Target. I'm sorry. I'm on to what I got it from Target. Um, so this soap, it's a limited edition soap. Um, they did a collab with Lisa Kongdon, whoever that is, but this scent is soft vanilla, and it has the tiger on the front. It really smells good. So I got another one of those hand soaps. I'm like, what is that on the window, bro? Ugh, I swear I hate bugs. Look at that bug. Ugh. Anyway, um, so we go through hand soap like, let me turn this camera. We go through hand soap like crazy in this house. And so I typed in high-end hand soap and this came up from Target, and it's called Bayless and Harding Goodness. It's a natural hand soap. It's vegan, and um, this scent is oud, cedar, and um, amber. 
And this almost reminds me of that A soap. I don't know if I'm saying it right, A E S O P, but it's like $125 a bottle. And these are like $5.99 at Target, and it almost got five stars for this scent. Oh, yeah, y'all. Whoa, this smells like really expensive. Hey, hey, hey. I love like aesthetic looking stuff like this, like the bottle's black. The packaging is really cute. Let me try to look at that. So yeah, screenshot this y'all. It is $5.99 and I've never seen this in Target, but I'm glad I did a curbside pickup so I was able to take my time and really look at um, all the stuff. So I got two of those in the same scent because the reviews were so good. Um, and then I got some non bread. If y'all don't know, this non bread be popping. You can put cheese on it, butter, honey, however you want to do it. Um, another thing that uh, a YouTuber that I watch, Kim Tai, she made me do it. But these Madelines are fire. These Madelines, when I first brought them in the house, everyone was hating, no one was trying them. And then once they tried them, they they lasted maybe like two days in this house. So if you guys can get these Madelines from um, Target, and I guess they only sell this brand at Target, but oh, they are so good, especially when they're fresh. Now, don't blame me if you go to your local Target and these are not, they don't taste as fresh and they're not good. Like they have to be fresh. So hoping that these are fresh. Um, what else? What else? Got some Cheez-Its. Y'all know what Cheez-Its are. Um, these apple juices by Martinelli's. I love them. These little small ones. And this little four pack was probably like f four bucks. Probably like four dollars. Um, I got some caramel sauce for coffee. Iced coffee. Come on. So by G what is it? Is it Girardelli or Guy Regal? Girardelli, I think. Whatever. Um, I also needed some more coffee. I love this brand, um, Khalifa. And this is their cold brew black coffee. So, and this is Blonde Rose, which is a more lighter taste. So I got some of that. I got some oat milk to put in the coffee. I'm really loving oat milk for whatever reason. Um, I re if y'all recall from watching my, uh, uh, my, my, if you recall from watching my earlier vlogs, you know that I was drinking that oat milk shake and brown sugar drink by Starbucks for a while. And I feel like one day I went and they didn't have oat milk and I tried it with, um, like 2% milk or something and it just wasn't the same. So like I'm loving oat milk right now. I think oat milk made that drink. And Tanaya got pizza bites that she need to put in the freezer. And that was pretty much it. I really just wanted to go to Target because um, we needed hand soap. And I'm like really excited about these. I feel like I need to go and get some more of these because I'm telling y'all, they this brand, or not this brand, but th that other brand, uh, um, A-E-S-O-P, that makes soap, I'm telling y'all, they charge you an arm and a leg, $125 for soap, and people are out here buying that. $125 hand soap, and you can get basically the same thing and it's all natural for $5.99 please I'll probably get back on here when I make the chicken salad which will be in a few hours so I will see y'all in oh and I got some stuff that um I have actually been saving I got some skim stuff and I got a, a new subscription box that um came in and I literally have not opened it I've had it for weeks but I wanted to share it with you all so I will be back. So as we're over here trying to organize in this kitchen, um, Anaya, she put the little, my matcha green tea in this container, which is great because we got to get some room going in this cabinet and then boxes in there have to go. So I'm trying to consolidate, but anyway, 
If y'all remember, um, this was in my May favorites. Um, this tea that I bought from Saks Fifth, and as she was taking out the little bit that I had left, come to find out there's a whole nether I, row I in here. That. Like I was getting sad because I only had a few left, but there's a whole nether layer. So again, I recommend y'all to get this tea if you're into tea because this was like 30 or 40 bucks and it's hella worth it. Um, now that I know that it's two layers of the tea and it is the same flavors as what, what was on the first row. Um, but they're all great. So I got some tea to drink y'all. I forgot to show y'all, excuse me, the little area where I couldn't put the coffee machine. So this is how it turned out. I basically just, um, put the it, it, the toaster was where the knives were I kind of like put it at that angle and then I got rid of some of these canisters because a lot of them were empty and useless so um I did that and then I moved the blender which used to sit up here next to this looking clustered next to the coffee machine moved it here um right now it's messy because I'm in the middle of making the um chicken salad but that's how it came out and then of course like i told y'all i'm gonna get a little tray to go here to put the oils in i've seen those trays that have like the square or circles um on the tray for each individual item so i think that'll look a lot better um there and then i ended up putting this flower here but i'm like oh my god i actually really like that so i think i'm gonna get another flower to go on this side and then um i got this cook sign here like years ago from home goods but i think i'm gonna take a trip there this weekend and see if they have anything new because i've had it a while there's grease spots on it um and it's just time for something new i may not even put something similar to this here i may just move it and maybe put the plants here and that's it but we'll see um, we'll see when I get to Costco. Yep. So that's what I ended up doing. This area looks a whole lot better now because it's not just stuff all on this edge. Oh, okay. So this is what we have looking nice and colorful and creamy the girl ain't do too bad okay let's just try one more I just put it in this red Rubbermaid bowl. I think we got these bowls from Rouse. And I'm just going to put it in the refrigerator for probably like an, I was saying, an hour and then eat. What is up, y'all? It is the next day. Um, I decided to bring you all with me. Um, if you haven't watched one of my other vlogs, I'm not sure which one it is, but I was talking about how Marshalls is the plug for natural hair care products because girl, ain't nobody got time to be spending all that money on hair care products for really for Anaya because she's the one who wears her hair out the most. So we're going to go in Marshalls. I have found some really good products by Main Choice the last time and this ain't a black area. So I'm hoping they have all those products there and they have a really good um, makeup area too just fyi i don't really shop at marshall's but it's all right you just gotta pick a good time to go which no one knows you just gotta randomly show up and hope that they have a good shipment in so yep let's go ahead and go into marshall's y'all they look like they running low today let me see go over here Yep, all they got is brands I never heard of. Oh, look, main choice, but this is growth oil. Dang. So, you probably got to get here on a Monday. 
because it's Friday and this stuff has been picked through all week. Hmm. Look, y'all, they even have pattern in here. You know that song. What's her name? Tracy Ellis's hairline. Let's see how much it is. $10.99. Hmm. Dang, they don't really have nothing. I'll, I'll show y'all what I get. I got to dig, y'all. It's only showing as 83 degrees, but it's hot, at least hot up in this car. Anyway, I couldn't really record in Marshalls, y'all, because it was a lot of people up in there. I just wanted to get in and out, and the line was crazy to check out. But actually, before I even reverse, um, I'm actually on my way to um the smoothie place they have like all these different smoothies and teas with boba um it's called taste teas and of course my girl kim ty here on youtube you went back there huh you went back there no it's another place called taste teas um so she her and her friend have went there on her latest vlog and i'm like what is that because everything this girl likes i have loved thus far so we are on our way to taste teas you might want to look it up because they got a big menu but we got to walk in it's not a um where is it it's in uh, uh it's in arcadia they have one in alhambra too though but i want to go to the one in arcadia oh no the one in alhambra is the um drive up one Ugh, alhambra is kind of far Yep, so, yep, I'll show y'all what I got when I get home because, child, it was a lot going on. And guess what? I only spent like $65, $67 in there and bought like a lot of good name brand products. So, I'm happy about that. You are a full clown. Did you not see that arrow saying that y'all needed to get to the left? They are idiots. Ooh, they got some nice houses over there. Well, I'll let you go. Well, I'll pick something for you. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Yeah, so anyway, I was in a whole bunch of pain um, this morning, and these people are fools this is what call, i can't even think y'all because i get so irritated with people like everybody else is merging over but all y'all want to sit up here and act like you too good to merge over to the left anyway so yeah i took some motrin i feel a whole lot better i'm just like lord when am i gonna feel like myself again i'm not letting you in when am i gonna feel like myself again like it just kills me the the pain every day it just i'm tired like i'm lethargic from being in pain but anyway it's the weekend i'm not gonna complain um i don't think i have anything planned do i have anything planned this weekend i wanted to do something tomorrow on saturday what did i can you close your door while we're sitting here what did I want to do? What did I want to do tomorrow? Damn. I don't know. But anyway, um, I'm probably going to end this vlog today because I want this vlog to be up on Sunday. And then um, I'm going to give y'all a hair vlog because um, I haven't did a hair vlog on my channel. It's time to wash my hair. So I'm going to straighten it out and everything. So... I'm going to record that, um, but damn, that's not until next week. There was something I wanted to do tomorrow. It'll come to me, but yeah, we're on our way to this drink place, so I will um, show y'all the drink when we get back in the car.
we just got these drinks. I don't know. I got some, a strawberry, straw, damn, strawberry uh, milk tea. So let's see. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. It's like, um, you remember, um, those strawberry drinks that were popular back in the 80s that had the, um, that animal on the can, like a kangaroo or something. Y'all probably like, what the hell is she talking about? Anyway, and this is good and it has real strawberries in it. And I put oat milk in it. Okay. So I got two new places to get drinks from here and seven leaves which um is further out so more than likely i'll be coming out here to um get my drinks because ain't nothing like a good drink when it's hot as hell outside so i am back home um let me show y'all what i got from marshall's first so i'm into loofahs i like to take showers with a loofah I use a washcloth to wash other little private areas, but as far as my body, I use a loofah. So I found these for $3.99. They're called Gal Pal Lush Puffs, Poofs, and every um, loofah is not equal. I'm sorry. You get some of them cheap loofahs that's going to do nothing but scratch up your skin. They feel cheap. I don't like them. So I like to get these that have like texture in them. And these say that they're also skin softening. It comes with two. And they were $3.99. So I have one more loofah left that I'm currently using. So, And when I get these, I like to um, just run some boiling hot water over them because you never know where these been. Um, what else did I get? And I got some Aesthetic Plus 2-in-1 Facial Cleansing Brush. Um... So it says that it exfoliates, cleans, and tones, and removes blackheads like she needed this, but this was $5.99, and it's manual, so it's not like it turns on or anything, but it's two-sided. So I guess one side that cleanses and another side that exfoliates, so hmm. We'll see how she likes that. Let's get on into the hair products. So, whew, I think I got a bunch too. So the first thing that I got for myself was Joico. If you are not familiar with Joico hair products, they're really, really good. They sell this in Ulta, um, all the high-end beauty supply stores, hair supply stores, um, if you go into like any of your high-end salons, you're gonna find Joko. So I was able to get some for $7.99. That's a steal. Well, I didn't even tell y'all what it is. So this is the Moisture Recovery Moisturizing Shampoo. And I got it for $7.99. And it says that it um, ultra nourishing shampoo gently cleanses and provides moisture replenishment to the thick, coarse, dry hair. So this is right up my alley for when I do my um, blowout tutorial. And then um, also Chi, I guess, did a collab with Barbie. And this basically is their um, Silk Infusion, Silk Reconstructuring Complex. And basically you just put this on as a leave-in before you style your hair. So it says that it um, helps to straighten the hair while providing incredible softness, manageability, and shine without buildup. And that's my number one thing. I hate 
when I put like a leave-in or some kind of um, heat protectant on my hair and then I feel it like I feel it on my hands when I touch my hair so this is saying there's none of that build up so we will see I always got to smell everything so let's see how this smells okay smells like a clean like a fresh smell so got that now for Anaya's hair I was kind of upset because they didn't have the main choice oil that I like to that I started to use on her hair but they did have this ancient Egyptian which is part of the collection of the oil that I got and it's their anti-breakage collection leave-in lotion um, so I did go ahead and caught this and this was $9.99 compared to 15 bucks so that was a steal and then I also got this pink lemonade and coconut, which I feel like I've had this before and it smells so good, but it's a curl boosting sherbet and it's good for um, braid outs, wash and goes, twist outs. So this is right up my at her alley for when I do her twist out. So I got that. And then um, we were in need of some more um, deep conditioner. So I got, I've never heard of this brand, but it's called Coco Magic. And it's a coconut oil hair mask. And this bad boy was only $5.99. And it says that it helps repair, nourish, prevent damage, and restore vibrancy. So we going to see if this is any good. And let me smell it for y'all. Smell like coconut um, oil. Coconut. <laughs> So we'll see, but I couldn't find any other deep conditioner. So I'll be trying this on her hair. Okay, so that was, oh, and then I got some jojoba oil to put in her hair. My hair does really good with jojoba oil. And so I just went ahead and got this little bottle because this is all the hair oil they had and it was $3.99, which is pretty good because all the like essential oils be kind of pricey, like if you go to Target and stuff. So yeah, and again, I only spent $67 on some pretty good hair products. So the next thing is Skims, y'all. So I have been waiting to open this Skims um, package both of these because I ended up you um, ended up making two separate orders. I don't know if you guys remember when Skims had that whole their first 50 percent or their first sale period, but it was also for like 50 percent off. So yeah, that was a minute ago. So I haven't put open nothing, did anything because I wanted to show you all. So the first thing I got, let's see. And I got a surprise little announcement with the Skims uh, haul. So I guess when you ordered like any undergarments or whatever, um, Skims was offering this little free pouch. So this is cute. It's a little Skims pouch, I guess, that you can hold your undergarments in. But um, I'm going to probably use it just to put like, I don't know, my cell phone cards and stuff in, something, my lip gloss, something when I'm carrying like a big bag. It's a little sturdy little bag too. So yeah, pretty much everybody should have got one of these um, in their Skims order, I think. Okay, so this is, girl, I have not. When I say I have not, I have not wore a thong in a long long time but something just tempted me to buy this and oh my god look how these stretch oh i love this and they feel so soft and i believe this is from from their cotton collection and this is an extra large and i felt like you know what i hate it sometimes when i'm wearing leggings or i'm wearing something that's like the material's thin and all you see is panty line so i figured let me just buy one thong for like those days when i just can't stand to see no panty line so and this is like um and and this is in the color garnet so yeah, I like these so far. They feel like they're gonna be really comfortable. And that's my thing. That's why I stopped wearing thongs because I was tired of that feeling like something's just up your butt. But these feel really nice. So 
yeah. And then another thing I got that I was kind of upset about was I thought these were leggings, but these are actually a part of um, the skin solution wear. And it says this shape wear provides support without sacrificing comfort or adding, adding bulk. So I thought these were like leggings that she could wear out. But then I went back and I'm like, these aren't no damn leggings. These are like actual like shapewear that goes all the way down your leg that you wear under clothes when you want like your legs to look smaller. So <laughs> I'm like, I have no use for this. I thought that these were leggings. So I'm probably not going to return these because... That that's going to take a lot. So what I am going to do is include this and something else in a giveaway. So for anybody that needs shapewear, this is a size extra large. Um, so yeah, I'll be giving this away. And I'll tell y'all after I finish this whole haul, what are, what's going to be the requirements to enter this giveaway. So as y'all can see, I'm putting it back in the box. And yeah, so that's that. Okay, so in the next order from Skims, let's see. Okay, yeah, so these, I got the, um, this t-shirt. I needed just some, it's hot, it's getting hot in California and I needed some shirts that were sleeveless, so I did get this, and look, it goes with this thong. I might just go out in this thong and this shirt. <laughs> um, so, and then it has the little high neck, so that's gonna be really cute. And then I got the same um, sleeveless shirt, and this is in the color Deep Sea. And let me tell y'all, it was hell getting on the website order, and I had to literally refresh like every, for like 30 minutes, I was refreshing to get anything off of the website because I had forgot. So nine o'clock rolled about, and I'm like sitting there like, what am I forgetting? And I'm like, oh shit, skims. So I get on there and the website's just acting all crazy and long make to make a long story short, I still was able to um, order some stuff as y'all can see, but it was crazy. People were like complaining, like what is wrong with your website? Okay, so the next thing that I got was, and it looks like this is the same color. Yep, cause this is Garnet. So, um, again, all these shirts are really stretchy. They feel good, but I just got a short sleeve shirt and I got this in a large. So that's that. And it's kind of big at the bottom. So hopefully it has a nice, um, slim fit and that it's not like too big at the bottom, but that, And then, um, what is this? That must be um, Amazon delivering a package. Okay, so I got this bodysuit. And again, these just all feel super nice. But I got this bodysuit in an extra large. I got a lot of garnet color. So, and it has a little snaps at the bottom is that Amazon and then again another one of the short sleeve shirts but um obviously in the color white but these are very wide at the bottom so I'm like hopefully this fits has a nice not like tight where I can't breathe but a slim fit um, so, of course, the, the, the surprise is that for some idiotic reason, when I was ordering this bodysuit, I ended up with two of them. So, I am going to also be doing a giveaway on this. So, I'm not going to do two separate ones. Whoever wins this giveaway will get the bodysuit and the um, shapewear leggings together. I think that makes sense. So, you get two skim items. And again, I'll let you know at the end 
what the requirements are going to be. But I was hot. I'm like, two bodysuits? I didn't order no damn two bodysuits. But it is what it is. It must have been meant for y'all so that um, somebody could get some skin items. Okay, so the last thing that I wanted to show y'all is uh, this subscription box that my mom has just been like convincing me to get. She's been subscribed. It's called Margo Alina. She's been subscribed to this subscription box for some time. And every time the box comes in, I'm like, damn. And I bought products from this company and they're all amazing. So I said, forget it. Instead of me just buying stuff here and there, let me just get a box. Now this subscription box is hella expensive. This box is $60 and it's not every month. She does it by the season. So the next one will be for the fall. This is the summer box and every season you pay 60 bucks. So when you think about it, it's not that bad. And this box is heavy as hell. And everything that she sells is like high quality skincare. It's all skincare stuff. Um, so yeah, I wanted to open this with y'all. And see, this is my first ever subscription box from her. But everything that I've bought thus far has been amazing. But let me get something to open this box up. I cannot get this open. Oh, baby. Damn. She got the tape on lock. Okay, so let me show y'all. Oh, I cannot wait for my I think that was my camera stick that just was delivered because this one is raggedy. So this is the inside of the box. It says Vibrant Balloons. And then you get, of course, the, um, the little subscription box pamphlet that tells you what's included. So it says um, Tokyo Milk, Honey in the Moon. So there's a perfume in here called Honey in the Moon. It's worth $38. Whoa. As a matter of fact, I'm not even going to go through this until we open this up. Then I'll go through it as I'm opening everything up. So what is this, honey? Oh, so these are cocktail napkins. Aren't these so cute? That's cute. And I already smell all the goodness coming out of this box. So that's cute. You know I can use those when I'm outside drinking my little cocktail. Okay, so this is, let's see. This is um Library of Flowers, and this is a perfume cream. Let me see if I can open this with my nails. Ooh, this smells good. It has like a fresh smell. So the Library of Flowers, let's see how much this was. It's $16 by itself. Okay, mind you, I paid $60 for this box. This feels like a candle. Let's see, yep. Ooh, you know I love some candles. So this is called um, Luminary Field and Flowers. Let's smell this. Let me sit down. Let's see. Mmm, okay. I don't know how strong what the scent payoff is going to be when I light it, but that's that. And this candle by itself is... Um, Is it on here? Oh, and these damn napkins, cocktail napkins, are $25 by themselves. But the candle, 
Hmm. Oh, it's sixteen dollars. Okay. Let me see what's in here. So this is grapefruit and blood orange fine salt scrub. This is funny because when we were in Marshalls, I was just looking at some um, salt scrub. So this says juicy grapefruit and orange extracts <laughs> extracts are nature's mood boosters loaded with vitamin C and A. Okay, blah, blah, blah. So this is a step out from shower steam, massage into wet skin and circular buffing motion. So yeah, this will do me good when I feel like exfoliating. And this um, scrub by itself is, is $28. So I think we've already hit 60 bucks. Um, and this is shea butter hand cream, and it's called Awaken Within. And her packaging is just amazing. Like, nothing is cheaply made at all. Let's see, without me popping a nail, what this is. Oh, I tell y'all, sometimes I hate having nails because it's like a fight to get stuff open. There we go. So it's like a little hand cream and it's shea butter infused. And this right here is how much is this hand lotion? <clears throat> oh, is this honey in the moon? No, this is what is this called? This is Tokyo Light. Tokyo. Tokyo Light. I have no idea where this is at. Oh, okay. This is $22. So, yeah, we surpassed. And her stuff, like I said, all her stuff is high quality. So, these prices are good prices for her stuff. Okay. I want to open up this big one. What is this? Ooh. So this is a relaxing foam bath with lavender and honey. Okay, and I can't open it because this is really wrapped up, but this is $18. Who's calling me? Nobody. Okay, my camera is talking about it's hot. But I want to keep going. Okay. Ooh, a hand sanitizer. Okay. So this is their lemon and aloe hand sanitizer. And it has essential oils in it. This is cute. And this is $14 by itself. Okay. And then let's see what this is. I hate when this camera does that. Oh, this is that perfume. Honey and the Moon perfume. Let's see what this top, what this do. And this perfume by itself is 38 bucks. Hold on. Let me see, cause, ooh, this smells, it's different. Ooh, I like that. It's very light, but it's, it's giving a nice, fresh, you can smell the honey, sweet honey and jasmine. That's what I smell. It's sweet honey, sugared violet, jasmine, and sandalwood. Not a big fan of sandalwood, but you can't really smell it. You smell more of the honey and the jasmine. So this is a cute little everyday um, perfume. And then the last thing is this finest perfume soap. Okay, and this right here is worth $12. I'll probably never use this, but I can put it in my bathroom as um, decor. So that's that. So yeah, I really feel like this box was worth it this time around. I can definitely use the hand sanitizers and all the lotions because I go through some lotion and she definitely provided lotion. And then this fine salt scrub, definitely could use that. So 
yeah, I think that was definitely worth it. So anyway, hopefully this camera don't cut off, but I want to get into this giveaway, y'all. So in order to um, enter this giveaway, you number one, of course, have to be subscribed to me. So if you are not subscribed yet, or if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, also, I need you to comment below saying that you subscribed and also follow me on Instagram. I'm going to leave my Instagram right here and just comment below with your um, Instagram handle and let me know that you subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you've liked this video and um, I'm going to go ahead and pick a random um, winner and that, that will be in the next video. So the next vlog. So not the next video that I put up. Uh, it'll probably be my hair. It's going to be the following vlog where I announce the winner. So please follow me on Instagram. Please make sure that you're subscribed to this channel. Like this video and comment below that you subscribe. You follow me on Instagram and what your Instagram handle is so that I can verify that. And yeah, hopefully one of you guys will, will be the winner of the Skims bodysuit and the control shapewear. So Yes, y'all. I'm going to basically end this vlog here. I just showed y'all all this stuff that I got going on. Yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. And if you are new here, go ahead and make sure that you hit that subscribe button. You like the video. Um, join the gang gang. And as always, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.